Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. In today's video, we are going to be putting in a 50 amp outlet onto the side of the house. This is gonna work for an RV or a Tesla. That's what we're putting in today, so stay tuned. So today, what we're doing is we are gonna be putting in an RV receptacle. It's a 50, 50 amp receptacle that we are going to use for our RV on occasion, but what we're gonna use it for every day is, my wife just got a Tesla. We picked up a used Tesla earlier this week and we have no way to charge it. Uh, the cable that came with it, unfortunately the dealership, since it was used, they gave us an old cable, a 110 charger. So it charges at about five miles per hour at its fastest rate. So we need to get a 220 volt installed and we need to get a charging cable for it because right now charging it on a, on a 110 just not working out for us. So what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be installing from this sub panel here, we're gonna put in a line, we're gonna come up here, we're gonna go around here, then we're gonna drop it down right here. My driveway is right there for the Tesla. So we're only talking about five feet plus a little distance for parking, 10, 15 feet at the most. So we've got a lot going on on the side of this house. This is my, my main panel. This is uh, for my, part of my solar. This is part of the solar it's for irrigation timer. That's a cable box, that's the phone box. This is another sub panel that we had to put in because of the workshop. And this is a junction box for the workshop. And then if you go further down there, you're gonna see more stuff for the solar panels. We've got two inverters on the side. We've got a cutoff for the, for the solar and we've got a solar meter and then another box down there. A lot of stuff on this wall. And now we're gonna add some more. So first thing, I've gotten all the parts that I needed. What we've got over here on the floor, this is our, this is our, our new outlet panel. It's for the outside. Got this at Home Depot. Just gonna have a little box. It's gonna plug in, cable's gonna plug in right here. It's gonna be able to close the cover. It's for the outside, it will work. So that's gonna go probably about right there. For wire, I needed about 25 feet. I've already measured this out. This is three strands right here. We've got, uh, we're putting in the 50 amp double breaker plus uh, one common. And we have one more line that's 25 feet. This is six gauge, by the way. That's it, you don't wanna go, you don't wanna go below six gauge. Otherwise you're, uh, you're gonna break the circuit. You're gonna heat up your wires. You're gonna get lower voltage going through or amps, I should say. So you, you wanna make sure you do the right thing. Our green wire, our, our ground, that is uh, eight gauge. You can go down one gauge when you're for your, for your ground wire. So what we're gonna do is start cutting pieces. We're gonna hook this up. We're gonna turn off the power to that sub panel, maybe. And we're gonna put our breaker in. Okay, so right under here is our one of our few holes that are knockouts. So we're gonna knock this out right here. We're gonna run the line. Actually, we're, no. We're gonna knock it out on this side. We're gonna to have to stick the pipe right behind these two. And then we're gonna come up right here so first we're going to knock it out. We're going to get our, uh, our pipe set up and we're going to go from there. We're going to put most of this in fast motion, except where I'm showing you which wires are connecting to, to where. Now, disclaimer, I am not a licensed electrician. I have never been one. And I, uh, I know what I'm doing just from doing it before and messing around and seeing how it's done, seeing other people do it, stuff like that. So if you're wanting to do this on your own, this is up to you. You can take my advice, but I'm not a electri licensed electrician and someone is bound to say I'm doing it wrong. And if they do, great. You know, a little feedback doesn't hurt. But remember that, I'm, I may not be following code. I'm trying to, but I may not be. So here we go, you can see right off the bat, um, just uh, making sure I got the right breaker and I'm. Um, starting to measure out for my lines. You notice that I do have white PVC pipe. There is no difference between white and gray PVC pipe. 
except one is designated as electric because it's gray so that you can tell it's an electric line. This is what I'm told. The reason I didn't get gray was because Home Depot did not have anything in stock that was gray. So we went with the white because we're going to paint it anyway. Okay, here in my hand you can see I'm using a compression fitting uh, for this uh, 90 degree. This is going right on the bottom of uh, the sub panel and I'm just tightening it on before I brought it close so that you could see. Make sure you take off your ring, but not your washer. And then I'm just hooking it up to the bottom and I'm going behind those pipes. There was no holes on the right side, uh, no three quarter inch holes on the right side or on the, on the right side of the panel or on the bottom right side. So I had to go behind those two pipes there. That was a little irritating, a little frustrating. There was plenty of access points on the left side, but then I'd have to go behind the pipes on, on the top to get the line over. So there was no win situation on that one. So anyway, we got all the pipes hooked up. It did take a little bit. I ran, uh, I didn't fish all the wires through uh, like an electrician would do. I kind of put in a piece of pipe, ran the, ran the wire, I pulled it through. It's a tight fit. One inch pipe might have been a lot easier. Um, but I just fed the uh, wire through each pipe as I connected it and uh, went around to the other side. So I've determined that the height of my electrical box is going to be right there. In retrospect, I probably should have gone just a little bit higher because of that hose bib that's over there. Uh, but it is what it is. That's where I've got it set up. And it wouldn't really be that hard to shorten it up if I really needed to. I've cut the wires and now I'm grabbing the box and I'm going to just wire up the box. For proper wiring instructions, I recommend going online and finding that. But I will tell you that... Uh, the your two positives are going to go on the left and the right your ground is going to go to one connection and the other one and your common is going to go to the other one uh, depending on how you're holding your outlet depends on where it goes whether it's the bottom or the top so i don't want to say bottom or top so always leave yourself a little extra wire which i did here get your box lined up i just use some wall anchors and got the uh the the box mounted on the wall into the stucco it should be nice and, and firm in there shouldn't be too much of an issue and then you're good to go with this and put in your wires nice and snug make sure you follow all co codes as far as uh, how you wire those in if you're going to be doing it yourself As you can see, I left plenty of wire on the outside, on the other end, uh, so that I could wire everything in. Um, make sure when you're messing with this that the breaker box is off. The breaker to this was off, I'm sure it was. Um, so you wire in your common where all the other white wires are, you just put them in. You gotta keep in mind in the center of that screen, right next to the breakers on the right side, um, where those breakers are connected, there is a live, if you don't shut off your breaker, there is a, a live piece of metal. You don't want to touch that. You will fry yourself. You will pee yourself. Maybe even worse. Um, in any case, uh, putting in the ground wire on the left-hand side and common on the right, I probably should have made that white wire, that common wire, a little bit shorter. Uh, so now I'm getting my, my black and my reds, and these are going just going right into the, the breaker, or like so, and putting those in, tightening them up, 
And of course, I'm maybe not doing it the way an electrician would have done it, but I, I've put them in first and I'm going to snap in my breaker. There's a chance that maybe I really still did have power going to that. Okay, everyone, so we've gotten everything complete. Just want to do a quick overview of what we've got done here. We've connected the box from this cell panel. Uh, we actually put in a 40 amp breaker. We're going to upgrade that to a 50. Uh, I thought a, I think I bought a 40 amp just because they didn't have a 50 amp available at the time. The charging cable we use only goes to 34 amps. So for now, that's going to work out fine. So we went from the bottom on this side. You may have been wondering why I went from under here and then behind these pipes. There's no, uh, there's no service holes here to pop out on this side at all and on this side there's only ones on this side so that's why we went behind the pipe we came around our paint is a little bit off color uh when i got my paint sample i got it from the other side of the house and where the sun wasn't fading it's this side of the house is more faded but eventually we're just going to paint the house of course and it will match us up we've got the pvc pipe wires going through three six gauge and one eight gauge down into the box we put our wires in here everything is uh all hooked up everything's working this is not a tesla cable uh this is a 34 amp cable that the dealership ended up buying for me and we've got a hose reel so that when we're not using it where you see it's connected to the car right now we could just roll it right up and store it away away from the water hose i'm not all that thrilled about the water hose being right there but um it is what it is uh, inside the box uh, we've got everything connected to, to the breaker uh, I'm not gonna go too far into detail on how to do that because I don't want to be held liable for you getting electrocuted I did a little bit of voiceover throughout the video describing what I did but always check your codes follow all safety policies and procedures don't get yourself hurt putting this in so that's it everything's working great uh, when we plug the car in now, it charges at 30 miles per hour. Very happy. We've got the RV right behind you. If you just do a little twist, and from here, I can just go ahead and plug in the RV during the day. The car charges at night. It's scheduled to charge at night. So everything's working great. I didn't get electrocuted. Here I am, alive and well. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button so you can see more content in the future. We're probably going to be doing a look couple more tesla videos i know we got one with accessories little cheap stuff that we bought off amazon we're going to be making one of those in the next week or so and who knows what else will come up with tesla there's a million videos out there for them but we can always make some more all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye